and it's great to be here. I, I really do appreciate it. And, you know, it was interesting when ITMPI got a hold of me and said, can you do short cycle time projects? We saw that's on your list. And I said, sure, happy to. And then he said, can you knock it out in 15 minutes? Wow. I had to think about that because it's hard to teach people how to do things in short form. It was Winston Churchill who made famous the particular phrase, I would have written you a shorter letter, but I didn't have the time. It's hard to do things on short cycle. It's hard, it's challenging to actually keep things moving and to actually give people a sense of real progress when you're dealing with short cycle time projects. So our challenge today is to actually walk you through what the big things we're going to hit you with are, and these are the big three. These are the big three that if we can get through in 15 minutes, kind of cover them and give you a sense of these are things that we should be doing on a ritual basis, we win. We definitely win. And it starts with small victories. Now, the Agile universe learned this a long time ago, that iterations matter. Producing something of value matters. Producing something of value in a short frame of time matters. All those things matter, and that's exactly what we need to be doing when it comes to short cycle time projects. We need to win these small victories. And note, daily. If you are not winning every single day, so you're like, Carl, I'd love to be winning, but unfortunately I'm locked in the house with the kids this is on my only 15 minutes alone, really. I understand that. I respect that. But the reality is we can win small victories every day, and we can set it up so that our team members win small victories every day. That's our big challenge, is trying to find out how can we do this consistently and do it function by function. Part of this is stealing from the Agile universe. It is. It's a matter of looking at what they do in Agile and basically just trying to find something that's a win. And before we get to that, let me go back here. Winning small victories every single day. What are you going to get done today? That's an agile question. What are you doing today? Now think about that. What are you going to get done today? I look at the laundry list I want to, of things I want to get done in a single day, and I keep them on a checklist, a real honest-to-gosh checklist. I have a checklist at my desk, and the reason I keep a checklist at my desk is so I can feel like I have accomplished something. One of the problems with short cycle time projects is people get so anxious, and so, oh my gosh, I've got to get more done, that they don't pat themselves on the back for what they've gotten done. The top of my checklist has a nice little phrase up at the top of it. It says, 15 checks is a triumph. Wow. 15 checks in a single day? Trust me, there's some real micro stuff on there. There's some very small victories. But at least I know I'm winning. At least I know I'm getting ahead. I know I'm making progress. And that's kind of important. We lose sight of the fact that on a short cycle time, because things are moving so fast, we get the sense that we are simply spinning our wheels rather than making real progress. You want to help people achieve this? You want to help people get that sense of accomplishment? First thing you need to do, and you can do this today, take something they're already doing, something they're working on, and say to them, identify what are they going to have done by close of business today. Now, that'll take them a couple of minutes to figure out, but just ask them, what are you going to have done by close of business today? I don't care if it's emails. I don't care if it's contacting the client. I don't care if it's holding the client's hand, well, virtually, and schmoozing them. Yep, don't care. Just pick one, but pick something so that at the end of the day, you get to go, wow, great job, well done. If you are not managing that way on a short cycle time project, you will quickly see frustration in your team because they'll get that sense they're spinning their wheels. Having grown up in a small northeastern Ohio town, I learned to drive in the snow. That's how I learned to drive. And it was kind of interesting because you learn something, particularly when you learn to drive a stick shift in the snow. And what you learn is the, the high gears, like first gear, 
if you punch it in first gear, you're going nowhere because your wheels are just spinning so fast, you're actually getting nothing done. The sooner you can drop it into a lower gear and just let the engine do the work, easier it is to start feeling that sense of progress. And your wheels are not spinning so hard and your engine is not working as hard. These are all metaphors, if you will, for what we do on the job. These are all things that actually open doors by giving people crystal clear objectives as to what they've gotten done in a single day and patting them on the back for achieving those objectives. Everybody wins. They win. We win. We all come out ahead. One of the other things that we can do is just ask them the big questions. Now, this often goes to our customers in these short cycle time projects. And a lot of times, customers will see that we are moving very, very fast, and they'll go, whoa, 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 can we change something? No, is the short answer. Ideally, in, in, the, in the beauty of a short cycle time project where you're trying to get to a deliverable, the short-term answer is no. The longer-term answer is, please wait. Please wait. Because a lot of times, when it comes to change, People have not thought through the impact of those changes on our ability to deliver something in the short cycle, in that very quick turnaround. But these are three questions. When somebody comes to us in that short cycle and says, I really need to make a change, fine. What if you could do all, everything you want? How would the world look different? Whew. That's a different question than we're normally asking. If you could do anything, anything you want, how would the world look different? Okay, and then we can start explaining to them how it's no longer a short cycle time project. But then back them off from that. Out of all those things you just declared, what's the one thing? If you could do just one thing, which one would you want? Because sometimes if you can pare them down to just a single change, it's more manageable and it might even be doable within the short cycle time we're dealing with. And what if you can't do it at all, oh, customer? Does that make what we're doing useless? The Agile people know that that's normally a no answer. They do. They know that because if we couldn't do it at all, if we couldn't make their change at all, we're still producing something of value. This is something that's finally bleeding over into predictive project management. But it's been in Agile project management all the while. It's been there for a long, long time. If you are doing predictive project management, it means that you are still dealing with things like the Gantt chart. You're still dealing with milestones. And let me stress to you, you want to keep the milestones on different levels. You want to keep your Gantt chart down to one page. Uh, Carl, I'm using Microsoft Project, and unfortunately, the best I can do is six pages. Then it's wrong for a short cycle time project. It's really not going to be achieved in a short cycle time. What we need. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.